All right, guys, before we move on to the next topic, I want to take a few minutes to quickly go over destructuring props and state in React. Destructuring is an ES6 feature that makes it possible to unpack values from arrays or properties from objects into distinct variables. In React, destructuring props and state improves code readability. You're also more likely going to find the destructuring syntax in most of the online material. And that is the reason I want to go over this topic. Let's start with functional components. Earlier in the series, we had created a functional component called greet. In app.js, you can see that we are passing in name and hero name as props. And in the greet component, we access them using props.name and props.hero name. Now there are two ways to destructure props in a functional component. The first way is to destructure it in the function parameter itself. So instead of just props, we are going to have parentheses and within the parentheses, we have the destructuring using curly braces name comma hero name we are basically extracting name and hero name from the props object in the jsx we can now simply use name and hero name instead of props.name and props.hero name let me also remove the console log statement and if we take a look at the browser you can see that the app still works so that is the first way, destructuring in the parameter. The second way is to destructure it in the function body. So we go back to naming the parameter as props and in the body, const curly braces name comma hero name is equal to props. So we extract name and hero name property from the props object. After this, you can use just name and hero name in the JSX. Go back to the browser and it should still work as expected. So these are the two ways to destructure props in functional components. Next, let's take a look at class components. I'm going to open welcome.js, which is our class component. This component also accepts the same two props name and hero name now in class components we generally tend to destructure props or state in the render method so const name comma hero name is equal to this dot props so on the left hand side curly braces name comma hero name and on the right hand side this dot props Again, we are simply extracting the necessary props. Your props object could contain 10 different props, but you can destructure only the ones you wish to use in your component. So in the JSX, I can now remove this dot props. If you take a look at the browser, you should have welcome Bruce, AKA Batman, which is from our welcome component. Now on similar lines, you might also have a number of state properties. You can destructure them in a similar way. Const within curly braces, state one comma state two is going to be equal to this dot state. Now we don't really have state in this component, but this is the syntax you will come across. So that is pretty much what I have on destructuring props and state in React. I will make use of the same syntax going forward. So please do make a note of this. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.